as we rush, as we rush, as, as we rush by, as we rush by. Come to me and I will give you, come to me and I will give you, come to me and I will give you. Again, a warm welcome to the Railway Carriage Studio tonight. So glad that you can be uh, um, joining us. Particularly glad that we've got uh, Nick Beston coming to join us now. So um, he is a few miles away from me, maybe uh, 15 miles away, uh, just a little bit uh, south of London. And we've, with the help of Dowie Jones, rigged this incredible system where uh, um, it's it's quite complicated how it's all connected together, but Dowie has worked it all out, and here we are, able to play with each other. So, Nick, a warm welcome to the Railway Carriage Studio. It's, it's great that we can uh, share this evening. Thank you for coming. We uh, played two songs together the other day, uh, and tonight we're going to play five songs together, which is uh, great. Just make sure I'm in tune for playing with you. Um, this this song uh, we we've played it in a few places, Nick. Um, one time we played it actually a couple of times. We played it on tour uh, in the Balkans, and uh, the song's actually written about a moment when I was sitting in an outside cafe, and uh, it was a moment where peace had come after a time of bombing and fear, and it was a very broken time. But now the bombing had stopped and as I sat there this little girl came out of this broken down house and walked towards me and uh, she was holding her grandfather's hand and as she stood there holding this old man's hand I imagined it was her grandfather it was as though everything was okay because she was kind of connected with him and everything was broken and frightening but this connection seemed to make it all beautiful and uh, it's very short but it's just called Princess in the Park. Thanks, Nick. The princess in the park, she holds his hand, steps across the green. White dress frills, jump and sway As she skips and walks, she's five years old She shines against the cold grey, frowning landscape To smile at her They smile at her innocence Her joyful insistence To smell the orange flowers That grow between the paving To point at the pigeon To laugh at the old man Who holds her hand She's the princess in the park
Thanks, Nick. It's, uh, we've uh, played that in theatres in South uh, Serbia and all kinds of places. And uh, it's lovely to be playing with you in their railway carriage now. This, uh, this next song I have not sung for such a long time. And uh, I, uh, I said to Nick, Nick, what songs would you like us to play? And uh, he said this one, Jazz Cafe. Um, I wrote this uh, actually when Nick and I were at college together. Um, and Nick was studying jazz and uh, teaching me a few chords. <laughs> and uh, I, was, we'd, I was sitting outside Ronnie Scott. And uh, being a student, you know, I was trying. I found that there was a cheap way to get to listen to drifting sounds from Ronnie Scott's uh, if you sit in a cafe opposite. And uh, I was sitting there, and I was thinking about a friend actually as I was sitting there. So this is just the scene of what's going on in the street and who's coming and who's going and somebody sitting over here. And then my mind goes to somebody, and back home, um, somebody I'm thinking of back there. And this kind of longing that I have for something for them. So uh, it's called Jazz Cafe. I watch as people make their way down to hear the jazz. The lady sits at a table, her legs are crossed, and she's glaring at the people that sit around her. Three men sit beside me and they, they leer as she looks away. Taxis squeak and wind up the back street there. They stop, start, groan and clatter. And someone pauses to speak with her acquaintance and she, she smiles and brushes windblown hair from her face. Thinking about you as I sit here. And I'm thinking how I wish you knew Jesus and the depths of his love. I think of your smile, but I I wish you knew the way that he can fill your heart. Sometimes watches the lines of concern as they flicker across your face. He longs to be with you, to give you strength. I pray that soon you'll meet him, that you'll know the truth, and that you'll let him set you free. into life and I lean forward to listen but in the back of my mind in the depths of my heart I'm aching for you to know him it's in the back of my mind in the depths of my heart I'm aching for you
brilliant thank you nick well it's just great to be playing with you in this uh in this way <laughs> looking forward to when we can play in an outside or inside cafe again soon you know uh this song it's a song with a similar kind of uh of a vibe to it really a similar kind of prayer uh, through the back of it i started writing songs when i was at school actually um, because i found it easier to uh, write a song than to uh, than to talk sometimes <laughs> so i'd write songs for friends you know and uh, and then uh, i'd come to this point myself of being completely convinced that there is a God who is there and who reveals himself in the person of Jesus and how this Jesus didn't just come and talk sweet things and do nice things but that, and make broken things unbroken as he did but that ultimately he went and died on a cross so that broken people could experience forgiveness and freedom and life in all its fullness and so that kind of prayer for my friends or prayer for you as you listen tonight uh, is kind of resonating through these songs and and this song um it's called this is for you and actually it's a song that nick and i played together uh, about a month ago here in the railway carriage and it's a song that it well it's for you <laughs> and it's a song that describes different situations but then in the middle of the song the refrain it speaks of of this God who is there, who who longs to be gracious to you, who's reaching out towards you, and who rises to show compassion. This is for you. This is for you. This is for you. This is for you as you sit in your car Drink at the bar As you ride the train As you walk in the rain As you look at your reflection As you question your direction It's for you it's for you This is for you as you dream alone Reach for the phone As you think too deep As you feel your heart leap As you laugh out loud As you wow Crowd, it's for you. It's for you. The Lord, the Lord is slow to anger and abounding in love and faithfulness. He longs to be gracious to you here to show to you compassion Longs 
to be gracious to you He rises to show to you compassion The Lord, the Lord Is slow to anger And abounding in love And faithfulness He longs to be gracious to you This is for you This is for you I'm just going to sing a couple more songs in this Railway Carriage session Thanks so much for uh, joining us tonight. Uh, the rain's holding off, so the tin roof is, uh, is staying quiet for now. Um, it always could change. That's what's exciting about something that's live, isn't it? This next song um, I, uh, is another one that Nick and I used to play quite a lot together. Uh, and uh, we'd have three other guys playing with us too. And this song, I wrote it in, a, in another city, uh, not in a Balkan city, but a, another place a bit further north, um, ex-Soviet Union, actually. And I was traveling there. And uh, as I was traveling, uh, I was feeling that, well, a bit like in that first song, really, life just wasn't making sense, you know. And uh, as I was kind of writing this song and thinking about how life wasn't really making sense, um, I kind of wrote this song about myself, really, to myself, uh, because then I realised that, well, for me, this kind of priority of wanting to live in relationship with the God who loves me as he loves you, well, that was slipping. That was kind of slipping away somehow. And so life, because of that, was becoming disjointed and out of focus. And as I considered that situation, considered my own kind of story and realized what was going on, um, I, I wrote in these verses that are from a, an ancient piece of poetry uh, by a brilliant poet and prophet called Jeremiah. And he's speaking to a people who are lost, speaking to a people who are broken. But then he, he speaks words of God to those people and he speaks of plans, plans to bring blessing. And perhaps tonight, you know, as you're tuning into the railway carriage, that's part of your story, resonates with you. You know, life is pretty broken and strange at the moment, isn't it? And perhaps, though, this moment of disjointedness might be something that, that the God of heaven might be using to turn some of our hearts, many of our hearts, towards him, towards the one who reveals him. That's the person of Jesus. And uh, so this song, well, I sing it thinking about my own story, but also thinking about yours too. And where is it that you're finding your sense and safety and security? It's called the Silhouetted. Steeples stand silhouetted against the grey city sky, interspersed with, with block shaped tall buildings, the cheapest mass housing the city planners could buy. Someone pushes a creaking, a creaking rusting pushchair Through the leafy park below me She pushes it past grey black monuments Dedicated to the faded glory of what used to be Sometimes life 
life loses meaning When I lose sight of you Sometimes life seems slow moving When I stop listening to you The blue car splashes through muddy brown puddles They've been left, left by the waterfall rain down the road beside me to carry people back back the way they came but I know the plans I have for you declares the Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me And I will listen, I will listen to you You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart It's a beautiful thing that uh, that Jesus also echoed as he said that if we would seek him then we would find him and uh, I've got a number of friends during this time of lockdown and unexpected rhythm change who have been asking the biggest questions really and uh, and many have actually taken a moment taken a, a few hours to just uh, read through one of the accounts of of Jesus's life and and to begin to really examine you know who is this person Jesus what kind of authenticity does he really have what claims does he really make is it really possible that Jesus could be one who is God 
come to us, to the rescue, to die in my place so that I could be forgiven. You know, if you're tuning in and thinking about these things, it's, it's a great opportunity that we have, an unexpected one, um, to be stopping and thinking uh, about these biggest things. And that's really the kind of the unhidden agenda behind these railway carriage sessions, that we'd stop and think about those big questions and those biggest themes. Uh, this last song, I, I wrote it in a city called uh, Novi Sad and uh, became a, a city that's very dear to me uh, as we lived quite close for a number of years, Faye, my wife and I. And uh, we were sitting in the bus station uh, one day and uh, there were people walking past and pushing towards uh, the next adventure or off to work or whatever it was they were doing. And uh, as these people were rushing past, coming and going, um, I was just describing what was happening. And then my mind went to some of the things we've been talking about tonight. A God who is there, who loves and who waits and who calls. And so I wrote in a kind of refrain that is another echo of ancient poetry that says, Today, if you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. And perhaps there's a stirring in, in many of our hearts and lives at this time of hearing uh, a God who loves and waits and who calls and uh, an invitation to him. look at the person of Jesus. And uh, if you hear his voice, don't harden your heart, but turn towards him and, and seek him. Because as we were saying in that last song, if we seek him and find, we will find him if we seek him with all our hearts. Well, thank you for sharing this uh, railway carriage session tonight. <laughs> Thanks so much to Dowie, who's been doing the engineering and making these, uh, all these connections work. Um, Nick, thank you so much for playing. Um, the, uh, the way that's all wired up, Nick can't speak to us. So <laughs> I would normally have him chatting away, but of course, um, it's something to do with how we've wired it all up. But uh, Nick, thank you so much for playing tonight. It's great that we can hear your sax, even if we can't hear your voice. <laughs> this song is called uh, Today. Climb on And you smile At a person You don't know And drive on But today if you hear His voice Don't harden your heart Today if you hear His voice Don't in your heart Now you're out in the street Walk on And you're reading The advertisements Well, read on But today if you hear his voice Don't in your heart Today if you hear King's voice Don't hide in your heart And the basket plays And taps his feet Sweet song But the reminder Want to forget so move on But today if you hear his voice don't harden your heart Today if you hear his voice don't harden your heart Cause there's one And who calls And there's one who died To save your life that 
and this well think on and is there a place of real peace well think on but today if you hear his voice don't harden your heart in your heart Today if you hear his voice don't harden your heart Well thank you so much for joining us in the railway carriage studio tonight thanks so much again to Nick for, for playing and for Dowie for engineering it's been great to share it with you in a week's time we'll have another short little railway carriage session one or two songs is there is this every second week but then in two weeks time uh, we'll have uh, another guest and uh, have a, a bigger kind of event there's a kind of screen coming up at the end that just uh, has got an uh, it's turquoisetracks.com forward slash high and if you want to connect or talk about any of these things some more um, then please uh, I'd love to do that uh, even send you a bit of the New Testament if you wanted to just read a bit more about Jesus and his claims and his life and that that one who in fact is calling and who loves and who waits and calls well, thank you and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Take care and good night. <laughs>